Hi everyone, Bernard here. I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to my film and TV channel. I hope you enjoy what I've got for you today and please check out uh, as you're watching this uh, little links on screen as well for different things for my uh, Facebook and Twitter and of course my uh, football channel as well. And uh, please, all your comments are very welcome. Just let us know and push that subscribe button. Don't forget, please push the subscribe button. Make sure your notification is set to public as well if you want to know when uh, these vlogs are coming out. Push that notification button as well. So anyway, please, please enjoy. Right, welcome to the film and TV channel. A little movie review today. As I'm watching this, I mean, it could vary. They do appear on other streaming sites as well. But I watched this on Netflix uh, obviously on or around the 4th of October 2021. It's a film called Till Death. Yeah, 88 minutes, uh, an 18 certificate or an R rating, I think, in the US. A horror thriller action film directed by S.K. Dale in his director directorial debut. There you go, from a screenplay by Jason Carvey. It stars the wonderful, and she made this film a little bit better for me, I'll have to admit, uh, Megan Fox, Callum Mulvey, uh, Eon Macken, if that's how you pronounce that, my, my apologies if you don't, Eon Owen, Owen is it? Macken, E-O-I-N, I don't know. Amy Amin and Jack Roth, yeah. After a romantic evening, uh, yeah, it was, it was a struggle, uh, to be honest with you. It's not the, the most romantic evening in their secluded lake house, yeah, at its moments. Emma awakens handcuffed to her dead husband, not quite. Trapped and isolated in the dead of winter, she must fight off hired killers to escape her husband's twisted plan. There you go, Bill, yeah. And that's the synopsis. It's not quite that. Uh, she, uh, But anyway, I don't want to go... Anyway, you watch it. You'll soon find out. Uh, yeah, Till Death uh, holds uh, an approval rating quite high of 88%. I mean, all these scores... I was at the 4th of October, 2 p.m. UK time. 88% um, approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes, yeah, which is pretty good. There are only 34 reviews, so not massive reviews, but it's got a weighted average of 6.7 out of 10, so that's very, very healthy. I mean, yeah, the approval rate is where you say, yeah, it's okay, good, oh, good, okay, good film, that. So 88% is quite high. Uh, 6.7 out of 10, 31 fresh, and 4 rotten. So, Pretty good. Uh, Thomas Laffrey from RogerEbert.com said it was undemanding, it was a little silly, but a thoroughly engrossing and handsomely paced edge of your seat experience all the same. So there you go. Uh, uh, high high praise indeed. Um, the audience on Rotten Tomatoes weren't quite as impressed, but still okay. 3.3 out of 5, which obviously equates, because I'm a math mathematical genius, to 6.6 .6 out of 10. But uh, yeah, so again, not bad. Metacritic, the other site we'll look at, there's only five reviews, there's only five critics have bothered to get out of bed and do a little review on this, but uh, it's got 66 out of 100, so again, uh, up there in the sixes, so it's, I say, for a little a little thrill, if you like, not, not overly big budget, I wouldn't have thought, this one, and it scores anywhere between 58 out of 180, and 58 is okay, that's not a total disaster, and uh, Movie Nation's Roger Moore, who can be critical of films, he's not always uh, happy clappy with these sort of things, he gave it 63 out of 100 and said, uh, this thriller plays with realistic, real-time problem-solving, melodramatic near misses, violence and suspense, we fear for the heroine, even if she's not nobly her heroic, I think she is, I think she's lovely, and fret over her strength and cunning, even as her resolve never Wavers. There you go. Well, move much or more. Uh, as I said, he's not always the kindest of films. Uh, high praise indeed. Uh, Internet Movie Database, Joe Public, you and me. Yeah, we're a bit meaner. Uh, a bit meaner on our scores. Uh, uh, 10,715 scores and reviews left. Of that 10,715, though, I mean, obviously, even though it's only showing 5.8 out of 10, uh, almost 7,000, 6,952 did score this six or more. So that's 65% of the viewing public. So, that, that, again, that's a positivity rate in 60. So that's pretty good. Uh, you do get 3,763, which is a big chunk, uh, scoring it anywhere between 1 and 5 out of 10. So that's not fantastic. But uh, I would say, in terms of 5.8 out of 10, yeah, more or less to say with a 65% positivity. So that's pretty good. Let's have a look at my little thoughts. I think we mentioned... Have I mentioned Megan Fox here? Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Megan Fox pretty much holds this uh, at times silly, silly chiller. I'd call it a chiller. It definitely was a chiller, a bit snowy uh, movie together for me. I mean, it's weird. Just when you think about 
how is this going to be dragged out for another set? I mean, you're about 10 or 15 minutes in, you're thinking, uh, how's this going to be dragged out into an hour and a half? You know, how's it going to survive that long with this storyline? It'd be interesting to see. But just as you think that, obviously, new elements are, in, are introduced from outside to, to keep this set thing moving along. Of course, uh, of course, there's similarities to other films. I mean, it started out very much a Gerald's Game. If you ever watched, if you ever watched that movie, a film I quite enjoyed, Gerald's Game, uh, and obviously you moved through various phases to a, a home invasion and trying to escape from the baddies sort of film. So it does within the within its reason, relatively short time. I thought the length was just about right, which you know me and length of films, I thought it was pretty spot on for the length of film. So it was really, really at the end of the day, just just a basic all round thriller. I thought very watchable. As I said, uh, the time flew, even though it was just under an hour and thirty minutes. Uh, plenty in it, a lot, a lot going on. As I said, new elements were introduced. A bit silly, yeah. But uh, for a small budget and shot in more or less one location, it's surrounding uh, sheds and. Uh, various things, garages, etc. Um, there's certainly a lot worse ways of spending an 80 odd, uh, 85 minutes or so uh, than this film. And uh, not just because of Megan Fox, yeah, I mean, she did help. Of course, she did. I, it was wonderful. I, I enjoyed the, that element of it. But just as a thriller in general, it's just a nice, simple. Uh, streaming thriller, as I say, I wouldn't have, even even if I paid to go to the pictures, I don't think I would have been that disappointed. So uh, that, there's high praise indeed. But uh, I'm going to give it my watchable rate. I'm not going to go mad, uh, as I say, I'm not, I'm not going to go brilliant, but I will give it as a good, steady, solid six out of ten because I en I enjoyed this, and uh, yes, I enjoyed Megan Fox. But hey, that, that's me. I'm sorry if you watch any of my vlogs. Uh, I do enjoy male actors, but I do and obviously have a female actor. Can hold my attention in a film that that that'll do for me. That, that's 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 who I am. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, six out of ten for this. Let me know if you watch this. What you think? Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to do this day. Have a great one. Look look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your family. Until we meet here again, uh, whether it's beyond the movie and TV channel, please have a. If you're interested in football, I do a little channel on. Obviously, I have a channel as well. This is split between film, TV, and football. Uh, obviously, on my football team, Manchester City, where I try and inform and entertain on there as well with quizzes and history vlogs and magazine vlogs, lots of different things. So, if you get a chance, or if you know somebody might be interested, please point them in my direction. I'll be very grateful. But until we meet again here on the film and TV channel or wherever it be, I only ask one thing: please stay safe, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.